How's it going everybody? I'm Driftwood. It's Tutorial Tuesday, so we're going to do our RPG Maker Envy tutorial today. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to make some animated sidebars if you're not using like an HD resolution game. Not every game needs to be running at, you know, 1080p or 720p, but the problem is sometimes you get these, well, every time you, you're not running it at a 16 by 9 resolution, you're going to get these black bars if you, the resolution of your screen is, is basically, you know, uh, 16 by 9 and the game's resolution isn't 16 by 9 you'll have these regular black bars but you may notice something different about this I've got like this little particle effect going on to just make the sidebars not so just static right um, this is just a little minor touch to the game but um, it might be something you want to add in if you're not using a 16 by 9 resolution game uh, but you are using a 16 by 9 resolution monitor and you want it to look better on the sides it's a very simple method that um, I've done all the work for, um, but I've got to credit some sources for this. This method was actually created by Anarch X, and uh, over Discord, he's uh, hit me up and said, hey, check this out, do you want to learn how to do it? And I said, sure. So he showed me how to do it, and uh, now I told him I'd credit him in a tutorial. So there you go, Anarch X. But this is using a plugin that was created by Vincent Guerrero. I, Guerrero, I think I'm saying your name right, sorry if I'm not, but this is using particles.min.js. But basically, um, I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can download dg underscore animated sidebars.zip. And this file is just a very, very small file that contains six other small files. So in this uh, zip file, you're going to get effect.js, you're going to get uh, index.html, which you should already have. And maybe you've already edited, and this is a, a, that's why I have this sublime up. If you want to uh, keep your version of index.html, but um, add this effect in, all you really have to do is type this bit of code in right here. So you're going to type in this line, link rel equals style sheets in double quotes, uh, href equals uh, css slash styles dot css in double quotes and in the brackets. You could actually rename the file and reference it, whatever, right there. You don't even have to put it in this, but this way it works nice and clean. Um, also, you have to do uh, create a division, particle.js, and then um, reference the two scripts, particles.min.js and effect.js. The effect.js is the code that's actually creating what kind of particle effects you see on the side. You can have all kinds of different ones. I'll create some more in the future so that you can just you know copy-paste them into your game. Um, but this is just a simple one. See if you can get the method down. You don't have to type any of this out if you don't want to. You only have to type it out if you've edited the HTML uh, index.html and you want to keep your version. Otherwise you could just replace index.html with the one that's in the zip file um, because it's just a, from a fresh project. Also keep in mind this is the index.html for the most recent version of uh, Game Maker Studio, I'm sorry, RPG Maker MV uh, version 1.4. So you're going to also get these two blank text files just crediting the source. I'm putting them in here so anybody who downloads it can see this method was by Anarchex and the script was by Vincent Guerrero. You're going to get particles.min and style.css. So what I want you to do is right click, create a new folder and call it CSS and then drag and drop style.css in there. I've already got it in there so I'm just going to delete it. You're going to take particle.min.js, drag it and drop it into the JS folder. And I've already got it in there so we're going to delete it. Then we're going to take, um, it, it might ask you to overwrite index.html, and it's up to you if you want to or not. Make a backup of your project if you're not sure. Um, and take effect.js, this is the actual, like what the particle effect looks like. Put that into the JS folder as well. <clears throat> so once you've got all those, you've got a new CSS folder with the styles, uh, style uh, cascading style sheet file in there. And then once you've got particle.min.js, uh, you don't actually need particles.js, you just need the .min. Um, and you've got the effect.js, and uh, and you've updated the index files to actually call those scripts. You're pretty much set. You're good to go. And when you play your game, you'll notice that um, if it's not 16 by 9, it will show the sidebars, and you've got like uh, particle effects on the side. So there you go. I'll put a link in the description below where you can download. Um, all the files and uh, if you have any trouble with it let me know um, yeah thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these RPG Maker Envy tutorials and you'd like to see more of them in the future you can always back me on Patreon if you would like to up the frequency of these tutorials and uh, thank you guys so much for watching you can subscribe to the channel if you're new here I have lots of RPG Maker Envy tutorials I've got Game Maker Studio 2 tutorials um, and I do first impressions video 
So um, if you would like me to play your game, please uh, deploy it, play, play test the deployed version of it, and then upload it and send me a link on Discord. Link to the Discord's in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you. Bye-bye.